This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 16, August 2019. A Euro Airlines Airbus 321 crash lands in a field near Zhukovsky International Airport in Moscow region, Russia. The event is dubbed the miracle over Raymansk, as only 23 passengers had minor injuries, similar to United States Airways Flight 1000. 549. Preliminary reports say the aircraft struck a flock of seagulls. Videos posted to social media show the passengers of Flight U6178 evacuating from the plane and making a path through the field. Precisely due to their professionalism, sole possession and coordinated actions managed to land a plane without tragic consequences, a Euro Airlines statement said. The UK releases Grace 1 back to Iran. An independent legal body would make a determination on the American request, Gibraltar's Chief Minister Fabian Picardo said in a statement. Relations between the United States and Iran have deteriorated sharply since United States President Donald Trump took office in 2017, with the two countries coming close to armed conflict in June. The initial seizure of the tanker sparked a diplomatic crisis between the UK and Iran which escalated when the Steena Impera was seized on 19 July. Washington suspects Iran of continuing efforts to develop nuclear weapons, something Tehran has always denied, and also accuses it of seeking to destabilize the Middle East. Two Muslim congresswomen, Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, are barred from entering Israel before a planned visit to the country, due to their support of the BDS movement, a decision which was encouraged by President of the United States Donald Trump. The irony of the only democracy in the Middle East making such a decision is that it is both an insult to democratic values, and a chilling response to a visit by government officials from an allied nation. But his move to call for their ban in Israel, reflects a new chapter in his grudge, and a further erosion of presidential norms, which in the past sought to avoid instilling partisanship in foreign affairs. This trip, pure and simple, is nothing more than an effort to fuel the engine that Congresswoman Tlaib and Omar so vigorously support, Friedman said in a statement, released Thursday evening. A civil servant in his 60 seconds is stabbed outside the Home Office in Westminster, London. The attacker flees to a nearby church. The church and home office are put on lockdown until the attacker is arrested. Scotland Yard has said it is keeping an open mind over the motive for a knife attack outside the home office as it was confirmed that the victim is a government employee. Specialist firearms officers attended within six minutes to find a man in his 60 seconds with knife injuries, the Metropolitan Police said. Video obtained by the Sun appears to show the suspect being arrested and items left at the scene, including a rucksack and a box containing a live ferret.